How you doing? This is Papa Bear, Harley Riddle back at you uh, here with Rudy. We're gonna work on boxing wraps. Now this is a basic boxing wrap with a lattice support, also known as a knockout wrap. Um, the knockout wrap um, historically is a large uh, knuckle pad with supported wrists going in one to two directions. Um, my wrap goes three directions. It's actually uh, crisscrossed and across those. Uh, the reason I do that is because the, the wonderful knockout wrap of before is very good for straight punches, but as the game has progressed, people have learned to hit from different angles, so we've adapted the wraps to uh, accommodate the safety of the fighter for that. All right, so once again, we're gonna check Rudy's hand, make sure there's no no damage, no pain. You got any pain, Rudy? I do not. You can make a fist for me? Okay, I'm looking at his fist, looking at the shape of it, how much uh, meat sticks off the side over here. Um, the difference between MMA and boxing wraps is primarily the amount of knuckle pad and support. Um, inside of an MMA glove, which could be four, six, eight ounces if you're practicing, um, you don't have much room to move. Boxing gloves go up to huge sizes um, and depending on the size of the hand, there might be a lot of space between the actual glove, the way it fits and the hand itself. So we build up the knuckle stronger to make it a more of a solid effect inside the glove. So we're going to get started here with Rudy. We're going to take it open. We're going to wrap it around. Make a fist. I'm going to tuck it under, get it started. There we go. Open. There we go. Now, I roll it high uh, because the standard uh, wrist comes up about nine centimeters on the wrist for MMA and four to six for, I mean, excuse me, nine centimeters for boxing and four to six for MMA. As we're rolling, we're rolling away from the thumb. And as we get to the top of the wrist, we come up to roll on the side over here. Rolling, go up to the meat. Go one more time and come over, going for the thumb. And we have created the first layer base, but we're gonna go one more. Around the thumb, back. And now we're gonna take our knuckle pad, which was created with another roll of old school gauze. Um, there are some that will use an entire roll just for the knuckle pad. Um, depending on the size of the glove, I can understand that. We did not do that. I used about a half a roll on this one, but we take it and it's at a four by four, which matches his size. We take it, we lay, lay it down on, across his knuckles. First layer, tucks down, roll it again, up and over. This is protecting the top of the hand and the knuckles. Now I know it looks like a giant Q-tip on the, on the hand right now. That will change in a moment. And as you anchor it, you're, you're tightening it down. You do not want it to be too tight under, but on top you can be just as snug as you want. And we're going around the same pattern again around and through up around the wrist back around the thumb and up and around make a fist you want to make sure it's still forming to the hand open there we go there we go all right now to finish off we Take it and wrap it all the way up the wrist. You don't want it too tight because it will strangle. Okay. Once again, like we did for the MMA wrap, we're going to have him make his fist to make sure it forms up nice and snug. Make sure nothing is pinching right now because there is a chance that the gauze could be too tight around the thumb. And if it is, this is the time to make the adjustment. Make a fist, open. 
Fist. Open. Fist. Taking our title tape, going around. Fist is closed. We're not going very tight around the wrist right now. Open. Is that too tight? Nope. Always check with your fighter. Talk to them. Don't assume anything. Even if you wrap their hands a hundred times. Going around the thumb, back away. Make sure when you're pulling on the thumb for the first time, you want to hold the tape in place so as not to pull the thumb backwards because that could be very uncomfortable and make it difficult for the fighter. Going around the thumb one more time, bringing it up. Finishing it off right here. All right. So now we're going to go between the fingers. As you notice, the palm is still exposed. That's not necessarily a necessity in boxing, but some fighters, especially crossover fighters, prefer their palm be exposed because when they grab a hold of this, it gives them farther to dig their fingers. Now, between the ring finger and middle finger, again, we're going to wrap the bar. We're going to seal the tape. We're going to give this a nice pull. This is pulling the knuckle bar up higher. You're going to grab the gauze, push it between the fingers a little bit. Now what this does is keeps the tape off of the fingers. Make a fist. Because that's very uncomfortable for fighters. That tape can be very annoying. Open. How does that feel so far? Very good. Through the first and middle finger, seal the tape, push the gauze through, make a fist. Pulling it down and around, checking that canal, making sure you didn't miss. If you do, pull it up and do it again. It's really that simple. Open. Tucking it under, seal the tape, make a fist. Nice and tight through there. Keep the fist. How does that feel? Fantastic. Okay. So now we're going to anchor this. And we're going to start our first layer. Open. You're going to hook the first tape right here on the edge of the knuckle pad. Make a fist. Keeping it back one inch from the front. Keeping it nice and snug. Pulling it away from the thumb. When you do that, it sort of pulls the bone slightly to the outside. That way when a hook is thrown, the bones line up straight and they have nowhere to go. As you tighten down the top in MMA or boxing, if the bones can't go left or right, they can't break. If they can't go up or down, they can't break. The force that goes in will come right back out without a break 99% of the time. That is known to happen. If you do break tape, go over that spot again. It won't affect any structure, but it's safer for the fighter. A lot of people have asked me, does it matter if it's pretty? Well, a pretty wrap is nice, but functional is more important. You get functional, pretty just sort of goes along with it. Okay, now we've created the first layer across. Now we're gonna lattice the wrap itself. So we take from the, the brachial right here between the thumb and the first finger, bring it across to the wrist. Again, from the edge of that tape on again, going to the outside. Now, the other way, go from the outside of the meat to the inside of the wrist, across this way. This is creating an anchored support both directions for the wrist. If you're doing it right, you'll notice the wrist is becoming more evident right here. It's because it's pulling everything down to form around it like a, a lattice 
uh, fence support. Okay, now from here, we went two directions, one under, two on top, and now we're gonna finish it off the same way we did with the MMA, with the cross open. This in, in truth gives it a four-way support without causing strangulation. Make a fist. And strangulation is very important to avoid. Um, there are coaches, open, who will argue that tighter is better only in some circumstances. Make a fist. Once again, watching to make sure we're not strangulating the meat over here. Open. Coming back across one more time, make a fist. And again, we fold over the last piece. If you noticed, I left a large piece of gauze hanging on top over here and then folded it down and taped it. The reason I did that was because one of the problems that happens during fights is the gauze will come pulling out like a flag when, they're, when the fighters are going at it and then they have to stop the fight, trim it off and then continue. By folding it over and creating that sock top, if you will, it prevents it from being able to come out and also keeps the tape off of the skin. Uh, it is completely legal and completely safe for the fighter. Open. Is that too tight? Nope, that's great. Make a fist. Now you'll notice that knuckle is considerably bigger than the MMA. But that will fill up a boxing glove properly to where when they hit, they won't have a space between the cushion and the knuckle. It'll be solid. Boom, just right there. Now. When I'm finishing, I will pat it and ask the fighter, how does it feel? That was great. All right, this man's ready.